Um, I'm here to, uh, to present a small uh, project that was done in the, uh, let's say, open source community. It started last year at the uh, BioAkiton uh, with uh, people. So uh, I will present how we could uh, create Sparkle uh, query um, endpoints from the Intermine database. The Intermine, first I will talk about the Intermine and uh, Semantic Web, very uh, short one-on-one thing. Then I will explain how we can do this data transformation from existing REST services to uh, a Sparkle endpoint. Just so for, no, for those of you who have no idea what the Sparkle endpoint, it's a knowledge graph technology coming from 20 years old uh, web semantic approach. So uh, then I will show what's the results of an Intermine uh, Sparkle endpoints. So Entermine is a 20 years old project. It's a data model. It's based on data model of sequence. It's a Java application used by all the major uh, model organism uh, database. It has a very uh, simple uh, to use a user friendly web interface. Uh, it, in, in, it, it was designed to integrate the data. So you can imagine Overture, for example, uh, is a way to build new application. Entermine was a way to do it 20 years ago. There is more than 20, there's almost 20 different uh, Entermine database. So here's a look at uh, what uh, uh, building a query is uh, within Entermine. Uh, you have a query generator and you can run this query and get the answer. In this case is what uh, pathway uh, is a specific gene involved in. We will come back to this query later. Uh, Entermine was uh, designed with the API approach so uh, there is an automatic uh, generator of code for many languages. Here's an example on, in Python. So you can build a query and then run this query within your preferred language. Now, semantic web. Uh, it's, a, it's an old idea. It's an idea of doing high quality data for data interoperability. 20 years ago, it started and it's what's called semantic web. It's not that much popular anymore. It's based on RDF. RDF is a way to represent all the data with triples. And we put triples into triple store, database for triple. And uh, this special graph database can be interrogated with Sparkle, which is the query language of triple store. So for those of you who have used uh, the triple store before, Virtual was very popular as a database to do semantic web application. So uh, here is 20 years of evolution. Uh, 20 years ago, I was here trying to find a subject I created by U2RDF. It evolved for almost 10 years where it was a kind of very uh, a popular uh, data integration approach based on semantic web for the life science. Uh, down on the slide, you see what how the database, each dot you see is a sparkle endpoint. So we're from, from very few of them, uh, now there is uh, hundreds of them which are available. And here's an example of actual sparkle endpoints uh, you can uh, use if you get interested in. Uh, Uniprot is a major one. PDB uh, is one uh, hosted in Japan. Keg has its own, the Wikidata, uh, which is a conversion of Wikimedia uh, knowledge base into a graph as Spark. But Intermine's not there. And uh, it's an old problem. Uh, Michel Dumontier, who have been involved with uh, Semantic Web 2, uh, created a project a few years ago, but it's not online anymore. So we had the uh, project last year at the Biocraton in Japan to do it again. And now there's a very nice new technology that simplify a lot transformation from existing uh, data to RDF. So this is what we are using. We use LinkML to get the model of uh, Link uh, of the Entermine uh, database. Uh, you, you have to know that Entermine, for example, for each instance, you have more than 200 tables. So uh, once we have done the conversion, it's loaded into a new triple star named Clever which is very, very performing. So we did that for three model organism database. And here's the final results where we can uh, replace the uh, old um, the approach with the new one, doing a Sparkle query over Intermine. And of course, we get the same answer, which is, of course, uh, the proof that the conversion worked. So now there is all kind of new technology since the last 10 years that simplify a great uh, the conversion of existing API to RDF so we can create a new knowledge graph using semantic web technology. And in the future, we will add other Intermine. And uh, I invite you to try to generate Sparkle query with your 
uh, LNM of choice, they all know how to write Sparkle query. And it's very interesting, and this is where we would go uh, to. Thanks for my collaborator, and especially the uh, BioAkiton and uh, the BASC of this year. I wouldn't be here if uh, I was not funded for that. Thank you very much.